All right, guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. We are in the shop still, and we are going to be knocking out all the electrical stuff, uh, routing the ECU harness, installing the ECU, and then kind of plugging in everything that we have available on the engine as of right now. So in the last video, you saw that we ended up installing the rest of all the accessory parts that we have on the front of the engine, uh, alternator AC uh, tensioner, and then also throttle body over here. So it was a quick little video, but it kind of set up where we are at in terms of getting the engine harness ran. And so kind of everything right here has a plug-in. Alternator has a plug-in, AC has a plug-in, and then we have a bunch of sensors that are going uh, to the block to read out everything. So like your crank, your cam, things of that nature. So we're gonna go ahead and start mounting the ECU, which is back over here, or ECM, whatever you wanna call it. So as of right now, I don't see anything or have any issues with this one. It was not throwing codes uh, the day that we uh, pulled it and the day that we cut the truck off and started tearing it down. So I'm not seeing any issues with that. Um, because I do have a Keating Tappet cover, we are gonna have to run these spacers. And the good thing is with this, they do machine where it goes out. So if you kind of see how that is recessed, whoops, this will fit inside there and you don't have to worry about it. So we're gonna replace that one. Um, and then we need to replace this one right here. And then we also have to replace this one because I need to bolt this bracket to something. This will focus. There we go. I need to bolt this bracket so this is not, you know, just hanging freely right there. But that's the idea today. And then you can kind of see where all the uh, tensions go. We have one right there, one right there, and one back there. And then we have to get in there for the cam. And then we come over here. That's not a sensor, that just needs to be plugged. And then we also have our T-STAT sensor. So we'll get kind of all this lined out, but I'm gonna start by installing the ECM, getting these tightened down, and then going from there. So with that being said, here's the ECM. We'll get that knocked out. So with this right here, there is going to be a crush washer. Hopefully you can see that. You can see. And so <laughs> we're going to make sure that we replace the crush washer and put that on the spacer that I have right here. That way we get a good seal and we don't have any oil leaking out the tappet cover.
as you can see we have one two three all bolted up ready to go those are tight and then we just gotta get bolts to go in those and then this is the third mounting point for the ecm but yeah that's kind of the idea of the keating billet tap it cover and then house recess to allow room for the spacers to thread in so now the next idea is to go ahead and slap this ecm on uh, I got one bolt for it right now, so this is going to kind of hold it for now. I got to get two other matching ones like that, but we're going to go ahead and put that on. And then from there, we'll start jumping into all the sensors, getting those tightened up. And then we will go ahead and stretch the engine harness all the way across the table and then kind of see where we need to go from there. All right, as of right now, we got one bolt holding it, but that's good. It's actually pretty sturdy, like not going anywhere side to side without, or with just that one bolt, but we'll have to get one for that side and that side and also that. So we'll have to get three, but there it sits right there. And from here, we can start getting in all of our sensors. One, two, three, four, I believe five is what I have right now. We'll see, we'll kind of lay out everything, see where we're at. But what I have in here from the teardown, here's two sensors that go into the head on the passenger side, the fuel side. Here's our thermostat sensor right here. Here's our cam sensor. And then our block sensor right here, which I believe is our crank. So that's where we are as of right now. We got everything kind of bolted in for the ECM and then getting those spacers. But from here, we'll start with the fun stuff of getting all the sensors thrown in and starting routing the engine harness. All right, so we got those two in. So we got this bigger one right here, and then we have the one in the back of the head or further back. So I know one of them has to be map sensor, mass air pressure. I mean, one of these probably have to be an air temperature sensor, but that's where we're at right there. I think that one has to be temp because that has a diode on it, and then this is just kind of a pressure um, sensor but now the next one up is your cam sensor i forgot that on a 01 and 02 they do not have a crank sensor so with that being said this one's going to be a little more difficult to get to if you can see down in there where that tape is uh taping over the uh, timing case then that is where we are going to be working at it's going to be this it only lines up one way as this bolt kind of holds it in right here and then it'll go in there and it basically has a magnet and a tone ring that it's going to read off of and so I think that is what gives you the engine RPMs and the calibration to kind of have the timing set for the engine for your VP44, for your throttle, all that good stuff that lets the, uh, the engine integrate together and operate the way it should. But so we're going to go ahead and work on this. I believe this is going to be the toughest one to get to. So I will update y'all as we go through and then give you any tips on the easiest way of putting that in. Now, I don't have a truck to work with or basically a front end to deal with. So this is gonna be easy compared to if you're having to replace it while the truck was already together. All right, so that one's installed. That was a little bit more difficult because it's right down in there 
and to get your fingers in between the vacuum pump and the injection pump was a little difficult, but I was able to get a socket, quarter inch socket with some extensions and get my hand back out here to tighten it up. That tiny little nut right there. So, and I'll zoom in so you can kind of see it. That nut right there where that electrical plug-in is. So looking at it right now, we got one, two, three. We're gonna go back down to this lower one right here on the block. And then our last one for a sensor is gonna be our thermostat. So, and that's all that I have over here. I don't think I'm missing anything. We have thermostat right here, and then we have block sensor fuel side. I labeled everything, so hopefully that is where we're not gonna be missing anything. Everything's been cleaned up with contact cleaner. Uh, that CRC stuff. So, and I was not running into any codes right before the truck was torn down. So, we'll go ahead and throw these on and rock and roll from there. All right, so now I wanted to kind of highlight where we are on the engine harness. So this has been completely stripped down, reloomed. All the connections have been clean with contact cleaner, label and everything. Um, so you can kind of see, if we want to start, basically this is where the firewall's at. So these are the two that go inside the truck. And then you have your two intake sensors. And then you get down here into the middle of the harness. This is uh, where it plugs into the ECM. Then you have sensors that plug into your fuel filter canister, but we do have those taped off because we are not running that. And then moving along here, you can kind of see this is going to travel down here. We have VP44 plug, then we have cam sensor, then we have throttle position sensor, and then this will actually travel back up into the fuse box for ground. Um, so it's just it's pretty simple moving from firewall down the fuel side of the engine, and then once you get to right here, it's going to wrap around the head. And then this will go into your thermostat. And then on the other side is alternator and AC. So that's the idea behind it. Yeah, the electrical side, I'm not the best at. So there was a bunch of work done to the harness itself, stripped, reloomed, checked all electrical connections um, before, you know, I even thought about throwing it on the truck. I bought these off Amazon, these little P clamps that will expand out. And so we can kind of use these up on the engine block where we see fit, and then that will kind of uh, hold it to the block. But right now, when you're over here kind of looking at it, we're just going to start as of right now. We're going to plug this plug in, go from there, and then the ones that are going back through the firewall will go through here. But we'll start working our way from here around this side all the way over. And then once that is completed, we'll be good to go. All right, well, good news, we got that bolted on. And if you look at it, it's just kind of thrown on there, but everything's connected beside these two connectors right here, or at least a connector and then a ground wire. So I gotta figure out where those go. But here's our two uh, leads going into the cab. ECM plug is in, oil pressure, and then you got these up here. The toughest one to get to was by far the one back there where the uh, cam sensor is. But after fiddling with it, you're able to get it. VP44, 
This goes up to our fuse box. And then right here now, the harness is just wrapped around the front of the engine. Then it'll definitely be secured to the head right here. And then it's running in between the alternator and the head and this bracket assembly right here. And then we have alternator, alternator, and then we have AC compressor. And then one last one, I'm not sure where that goes. But yeah, that kind of completes the engine harness as of right now. So there's a lot going on in the truck right now. You can see the engine bay is starting to fill up pretty quickly as we add more stuff. So we're knocking things out. We're getting things good to go. But next thing I wanted to try to at least get a few of them on there to see the way it sits is these little electrical clamps right here. Sadly, I did have to drill them out um, because everything on that front of the head of the engine is a m8 by 1.25 and so i have a couple of these laying around so it's that same bill of aluminum color so what i'm thinking about doing is just going ahead and getting one of them kind of bolted up right here and then maybe do another one on the back side but just kind of see where we need them and then uh, go from there i know there's going to be had to be some way down here on the bottom of the block and then also back here to secure everything while we are running it to the cab of the truck but here's where we're at a good little overview but now it's starting to look like a full engine if you kind of take a look just back here so she's coming together lots of hard work Lots of progress being made. So let's go ahead and tackle a couple of these and then probably close out the video. I gotta take a longer look on how I wanna do it. But as of right now, this is where we're at. And I am super excited about where it's going and how well it went today. So let's knock out the last few things for this video. And that will be these little electrical harnesses. All right, so here is my idea. I was able to use some stainless steel hardware and then those clamps. And so that is kind of what I'm gonna do and just kind of trace the, the harness around the truck or around the engine. And then, you know, figure out points down here where I can um, secure it to the block. But that's the plan is to just go ahead and use all the sizes that I got um, in that kit from Amazon. And then over here, do the same thing as well. Hopefully you can see, but yeah, there's a lot of just, you know, extra wire loom and uh, harnesses that are kind of hanging freely. So we're going to figure out a good way to button all that stuff up, clean it up. But as of right now, we are looking good. It's getting pretty busy under the hood right now. As you can see, we are still sticking with either gloss black, billet right here, or our powder coat for the either the engine or the turbo but yeah that is going to close out this video today uh, big progress got that routed exactly the way i wanted to appreciate you tuning in uh we're trucking right along the progress is going you know a good linear rate making progress so hopefully here soon we can have first fire on the truck that's the goal and then from there, you know, it's uh, just tying everything else together. So yeah, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, share this video where you talk diesel. And then I will catch you guys in the next one. Boss out.